Greetings, wise ones. This is Melissa from Eighth House Wisdom, author, astrologer, feminine energy, and stellar planning expert. I'm here with a video today about equality and the soft life. If you're interested in hearing a bit more about feminine energy, the soft life, and in particular, what equality has to do with it, stay tuned for the rest of the content. So, I've really been wanting to make this video for a while because it is directly related to the work that I do with my mostly female clientele in coaching, around astrology, health, wellness, and feminine energy. For those of you who don't know what the soft life is, first and foremost, I want to say Thank you for black women in the wellness space for coining this word and bringing it to the forefront. I state that because unfortunately the wellness space is quite white and white woman dominated. Um, and sometimes women of color don't get their just due when they are the originators of ideas like people like Kimberly Crenshaw and the word intersectionality that most people wouldn't know a black woman created but I digress my point here is talking about the soft life and the soft life came about in larger awareness here in the Western world around 2020 once the quarantine and pandemic hit. And the soft life is a life that is typified or filled with ease, grace, comfort, without requiring any hard work, sacrifice, or unpleasantness. I think it's beautiful that a black woman would be speaking about this because it is the exact opposite of the strong black woman idea and trope. The idea that black women can take anything that we're here to hold up the world on our shoulders like we're Atlas and that our keys to living and thriving are in our strength. And don't get me wrong, I love and appreciate my strength. And we are spiritually and genetically bred, especially if you are the descendants of African slaves in this country, to be strong and to endure. But as a graduate of Spelman College, one of only two all black women's colleges in the United States, I am also aware of how my strength and my tenacity, my intellect and my ability to lean in and fix everything keeps me apart from the softer life. I am also aware that as a woman, striving for equality, where everything is a split of 50-50 down the middle also prevents me from being able to experience a softer life. Because human beings are interdependent. Relationships are interdependent. 
being a sovereign woman or sovereign being allows me to be independent as I think about myself and I'm exploring where I begin and end. But the freedom, the ease, the grace, the comfort that I am looking for, that I coach my women clients to find in their lives, really doesn't exist in the current feminist principles of equality. I would like equal pay, yes. I would like equal representation, yes. But I don't want to be equal, quote unquote, to a man. I want my equitable piece of the pie. And when I say equitable, I want to be recognized for the fact that we are both equally human beings, but we reflect different sides of life. Him the harder and me the softer. Trying to be a man is a waste of a good woman. And I am all for thinking about equality in places where we really can look to divide a pie. A man and I doing the same job should start at an equal pay raise. But once we move beyond that, if I am a woman in my childbearing years, I may be stepping out of the workforce to bear my child, to rear them. I have other feminine attributes that would make my experience of traversing the my career path and moving ahead as we are taught to do in a Western context, I have things that would make that look different than my male counterpart. What I want is equitable consideration for our differences, not equal. Because equal would be, well, he doesn't have those things and you do, so they would be to my advantage. I want to, at the point where my equal pay starts, I want them to be considered for all that is unique about me. Because when you do, you are then tuned in to the fact that my needs are receptive. Some are passive. Many are inward. They require softer, gentler approaches. They require being Actions, the action of feminine energy, not always doing actions, the actions of masculinity. And so, my point of this entire video is striving to be equal is the enemy to the softer life. We as women must learn to go within. And to really examine the connections we have to espousing our desire for equality. And we really need to give some thought about the differences between equality and equity. And make sure we stake our claim in the place that has the greatest potential to allow for a softer life. Equality becomes fast and hard and rigid when it is placed against an energy, a thought or an ideal that presents that way. The other side of that must be viewed, judged, or assessed similarly. 
this is why I am advocating for equity. Because you are not locked into same, same comparisons. And this allows us as women, and especially as black women, to go within and do the exploration needed to start cultivating and bringing the qualities of the softer life we so desire up and to the surface within our minds and bodies and realities and they allow us to live them without articulating from our head which is a masculine space ideas that would ultimately seek to usurp the very softness we're trying to achieve. This is something that has just really been in my heart for a while and I wanted to speak on. I hope that you have heard something that inspires you to think differently about the softer life and encourages you to go within to figure out what living a softer life means to you. And if you feel so inclined, I'd love for you to stop over to my website and check out one of my free stellar breakthrough sessions where we could have a dialogue about what it would take for you to live and embody a softer life because we all deserve it. Until the next video, sending lots of light and love. Take care.